My name's Kenny Brannigan. I've, I've played and been involved in football for over 35 years now. Um, the last few years I've spent my time in the States and um, Canada, travelling the globe. Um, the first point to places like um, China, Shanghai, Beijing, um, the Middle East, I've been all over it. Um, but before that, I was 30 years in professional football. Um, and the last job I had was manager of the Queen of the South, where I had um, a wonderful time. Um, as a playing career and a coaching career, uh, I've been around many clubs such as Hartig Thistle, Clyde Bank, where my heart belongs to now, and um, Airdrie, um, Stenhouse Muir, Sunra, you know, places where people wouldn't go but just, just, um, just loved the game and wanted to play. I, I think it's something that should never have uh, ever been allowed um, for many reasons. I, I was there when the new hand um, was built uh, and it was, it was a great experience. I played in the old field as well. And just you ask yourself, where, 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 where does it all stop? You know, a, a young young boy from East End of Glasgow who was fortunate to play over 170 games on hand. And, and for any young footballer in Scotland who's starting their careers or going to cup finals, there's no better joy than going and playing on, on the biggest ground, which is which is Hamden, and, and just, just going and enjoying the experience. I've played in it when it's, it's been almost empty, and I've played in it when it's been full. I've coached when it's been full. Um, and the last time was against Rangers in the Scottish Cup final 2009. Um, it was just, just a wonderful experience. Well, see Queen's Park for many reasons really, really struggle in the modern day game. The biggest attraction for Queen's Park was playing on Hamden. So now Queen's Park don't have an attraction to sign for them. Why, why would you sign for Queen's Park? Now, if Queen's Park are not playing the National Stadium because they've sold it to the SFA, Queen's Park playing at Lesser Hamden, which needs major, major work done on an actual, to build a stadium there, a small stadium on Lesser. So how do they go about it? Where's the attraction? So they have to pay players and sell players. Now the biggest coup in football would be for, for bigger clubs to come and steal a young boy. I say steal because it happens all the time, they come, they get the development through Queen's Park and then they come and take the major part of the development process away. By, by turning a young kid into a professional footballer. Now, Queen's Park have to, uh, have to A, pay all the coaches at all the levels, and B, sell players to bring some sort of income in. Now, that might not happen. The recruitment process changes. Why would you go to Queen's Park and try and play at that level when you go and play for Partick Thistle and Clyde and Celtic and Rangers? And what kept Queen's Park was their status. They were the oldest amateur club, over 100 years of amateur status. It was a top heart brigade that we played for Queen's Park, the Spiders, so to speak. It, it was special, there was something in there, you know. Their motto is Ludere Cosa Ludende, where you play the game because you love it. You're not playing football for the money. So Queen's Park, and the, the, the board of directors there are, are, are people who have been very successful in life. They're, they're, they made most of their money through their, their, own, their, their, their own ways, like insurance guys and bankers and investors. And, and wonderful, wonderful bunch of guys who put a lot of time and effort in the club. And my, my thoughts going forward is Queen's Park's going to struggle now. And the money they, they make from hand is going to have to develop lesser hand and can they don't have enough support to support the funding of a football team every single week. So the only way they're going to support it is through selling players. Do they have the development process? Do they have the coaches in place? I know the manager very well, I know the technical director very well, apart from the two boys at that club. Do they have another 10 or 12 coaches who will be paid for to do a job? 
The attraction now um, for the club, um, would, would I think, is um, maybe the area you live in, the convenience, the central Glasgow, um, maybe maybe the hope that, that you do get moved on, but now there's a price on your head. So you're saying to yourself, I'm a young boy playing for Queen's Park, the only the only attraction is, is, is to play for the Spiders and hopefully other clubs come in and buy you. Now Scotland's not prolific for, for selling players in between clubs at the moment, even just now in the Premier League, everybody's trying to steal somebody else. And that was the main attraction for, for becoming a Spider, playing for Queen's Park. Now, I don't know where the attraction is. There's no, play, not playing in the National Stadium is going to be a major, major hurdle. The Queen's Park's going to have to overcome, and, and I think it, 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 it could well be um, the making of another club getting into financial troubles.